Hey guys, in today's video I am going to be attempting to make a cell phone projector or smartphone projector. So the things you're going to need is going to be a shoebox, just any old shoebox that will fit your magnifying glass, a sharpie, a pair of scissors, a exacto knife or box cutter, just some sort of blade, and if you are young you're going to really need a parent to help you because I don't need anybody getting hurt. You're going to need tape, black tape, or a glue gun. I'm just using a glue gun because I am feeling lazy and the tape that I have sucks. And you're also going to need some black construction paper, poster board, whatever black paper that you have. And of course you're going to need your cell phone. So I'm going to take my shoe box and I'm going to put the magnifying glass on top so that I know where I'm going to need to cut. I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm just going to trace around the area so I have a good guideline of where I'm going to be cutting. And that looks good to me. Don't know if you can see that, but yes. Yeah, so I am going to go ahead and take my blade and I'm just going to cut out that circle. And don't cut towards yourself like I'm doing because that's really dangerous and I'm just I'm just lazy so just don't don't do what I'm doing alrighty so I'm going to have to again trace because I was dumb and traced on the lid and didn't think about tracing the rest of the box this is kind of scary and my battery's already dying and I just started how how terrific that's so convenient I'm just gonna finish cutting the circle out with scissors because I don't have time to be patient because my battery's blinking. So, okay. All right, so I've got my little hole cut in my box and I'm also going to cut on the lid as well. Now you're just going to need to put the black paper inside of the box. And that is why I'm using my glue gun. I'm just gonna glue it instead of taping it because like I said, I'm lazy and my tape sucks. First, I just wanna measure it and make sure that I'm gonna get a good fit because if it doesn't fit properly, it's not gonna look good. So I just cut off about an inch off the end of my paper and I'm gonna see if it fits. And it does, it fits great. So now I'm just gonna glue it and you guys can't even see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna glue this paper in here and I will get back to you in a second after I do this. All right, so I went ahead and glued in all that black paper into my box and a little bit on the lid as well. So now all I really have left to do is the magnifying glass and I don't wanna cut off the handle because I don't know if this is actually gonna work or not, but um, I'm gonna have to take my crappy tape and tape the magnifying glass in place. I would glue it, but like I said, I don't know if this is going to work or not, so I don't want to just ruin stuff if I'm not sure how it's going to work. And I know that you guys can't see what I'm doing, and I, I'm really sorry. I'm just, I'm really pressed for time because my battery's blinking. So I've got it in here, got my magnifying glass taped in there, and my lid's going to go on somehow, some way. And I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the lights off and we're gonna see if this thing works. I tested this out and I found that you have to be pretty far from the wall and for it to work for me the magnifying glass could not even be attached to the box you had to like actually have it a distance away from the box and it drove me nuts and you had to have it in the exact position um, to even be able to make out the images so it was kind of frustrating for me and it didn't really work. I mean it worked, but like I said, the magnifying glass wasn't even attached to the box for it to work for me. So I had to like mess around with it like this and I had to be like 
10, 10 or more feet from the wall. Maybe. Yeah, I had to be like 10 feet from the wall for it to work. Um, so that's that. It's it's okay I mean if you're really desperate to have a projector and you have the time and patience to mess around with all the like angles and everything then I would say go for it but I don't know this just drove me nuts and it made me so upset this is the second one that I made actually I actually made another one earlier with a different magnifying glass and that did not work at all so this just drove me completely nuts but I hope that you guys found this video helpful I mean go for it if you got the patience and everything but I just I don't so this was not for me but if you can get it to work it's pretty cool um after the hours of trying to get it to work so yeah that is it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching um go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you're into me doing DIYs and things like this because I really enjoy doing DIYs and I would like to upload more of those onto this channel. So go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you're into me trying to make things. And go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you have not already. We're going to be doing all kinds of different things. This channel is just like a fun channel for us to upload. Like all sorts of different fun things are going to be going onto this channel. And I know that I've neglected it for a little while. But I promise we are going to try to upload on here a lot more. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe. That would mean so much to me. And I will be seeing you guys in my next video. Again, thank you for checking this video out and bearing with me throughout this whole thing. So thanks guys. I love you and I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye.